Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new London Future Stars card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot four, right footed, one star skill is a three star weak foot. Now, in regards to how this card is going to perform in game and the links that he has, uh, the basic you know, direct comparison that you're going to be doing with this card is going to be with Courtois, right? Because uh, with Courtois being the links for, you know, Belgian or mostly the Real Madrid players, especially with Varane and stuff, uh, that's the type of stuff that you have to analyze the most, right? With London, uh, he obviously gives that direct link to Varane. Uh, in regards to his in-game abilities, he's got 84 goalkeeper diving, 87 for goalkeeper handling, 84 for goalkeeper kicking, uh, 87 for goalkeeper reflexes, and then the goalkeeper positioning is at an 89. Now, with goalies in FIFA, the biggest variable is how fast a goalie can move with their height and their height basically with their positioning, right? So with London, we're going to be testing him out because here's the thing with this card, right? He has two of the most important traits in this game to be able to save certain opportunities. Now, with goalies, I expect most goalies to concede those 100% angles most of the times. You know, you get that 45-degree angle for the finesse shot, you score that opportunity. If you get a 90-degree angle to do uh, a shot across goal and you actually get to hit it, then I expect those ones to uh, not be saved as well, right? Some goalies do some crazy stuff, right? Uh, but it really depends on the type of strike that your opponent takes uh, and the way that your goalie behaves in certain situation so with him he has rushes out of goal okay and he has saves with feet so when you have these game-changing traits right you want to be able to use both of the instructions it's, it's instructions that people don't use as often as they probably should uh, i've been using them more often recently because Honestly, it's really good. And with those aggressive things that this card has, you want to put comes for crosses, right? And you also want to put sweeper keeper on a card like this, right? And the reason being for this is because you know how sometimes when you use aggressive attackers, uh, you know, if you use someone like Jack Grealish, he obviously has very aggressive attacking AI. With Jack Grealish in your team, putting him on a long ball tactic with getting behind, you'll be able to notice that attacking AI even more than you did before, right? So that's why it's good to know the base characteristics of a card because with comes for crosses and sweeper keeper, we're looking at a goalkeeper that'll be very aggressive in certain situations where it's important for him to be aggressive in, right? So that's the, gonna be uh, the main focus with this card. Let me go ahead and take a look and see if people actually ended up giving him a chemistry style uh which footbit does not have for the goalkeepers word 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 okay so there's obviously the ukrainian links too so if there's any ukrainian players that they put in the future definitely really cool for that too but uh yeah he even has his in-game stats over here like acceleration sprint speed and stuff reactions at 74 which is pretty decent to be honest composure at 56 is a little bit weird yeah we're going to be using it with a basic so this is what basic actually does to the card so his diving is at an 89 handling let me see glove so reflex is at an 87 diving 94 handling 99 positioning 94 no i would just give a goalie like this basic a hundred percent yeah just give him a basic guys so yeah we'll get into a game we'll get into a few games actually and uh we'll try him out see how he plays man we'll obviously play some games where we'll be more vulnerable in the defense open it up a little bit more uh which is perfect because we're using the 352 as well for that long ball press after possession loss should be good enough to be able to test out this goalie so um yeah let's get into a game or get into some games and see how he plays and high marks for his work up to this point Lee. well he's been involved in most of the positive things in that first half and obviously getting that goal Oh, Lunin, nice job. Well done, my boy. Great little clearance. Oh, top class save by Lunin. Top class. Nice, Lunin. Good job, man. That instruction of sweeper keeper and comes for cross is definitely very helpful for a card like him, for sure. Being able to use both of those traits with that forced instruction, it's definitely very nice. It's kind of like the same thing as giving a long ball to a aggressive attacker, right? Oh, his dribbling is really rough. <laughs> his dribbling is really rough. You gotta be careful with those ones. Can he get one back? 
Let's go, Lonen. We don't allow those, baby. We do not allow those. Great save. Dude, that sweeper keeper is so nice on him, man. 100% use that sweeper keeper. This guy gets everything once they do like lob passes or through balls. Let's go. Oh, this card is so nice. He's literally overpowered, man. So he's, I, I love him. I, I, I love him. I love him. Hey, man, we put enough pressure. Oh, does he get that? Oh, imagine he did, though. Imagine if he did. In that situation, he did okay, to be honest. Spreads out his body really nicely. Almost gets that ball there. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. I mean, uh, those don't really count as passbacks in this game because the way that your player kind of like... It's like a... It counts as a deflection when they control it and it's not really like their ball. It's weird. Yeah, using that sweeper keeper is definitely very important for a card like this. I'm not really going to show highlights of, uh, you know, high percentage strikes going in because you expect them to go in. You know, when you pull out your goalkeeper, the animation is easier to score, stuff like that. Like, it's not really worth it. It's those very certain situations that I want to see. Nice. Well done. He actually does that at the near post as well, which is really good. His positioning from the free kick by itself is actually really good. He's kind of more base off of the middle here. Yo, Nick's gonna die of laughter at that clip, bro. I just watched it back and it's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna die. I need to show him that, bro. I need to show him that. Uh, guys, I'm gonna give him a glove. Uh, reason being for this is because here's the thing with this card, right? Because he's so tall, right? Being a six foot four player, big body type, I want to improve his diving, his handling, and his positioning as much as possible. Because if I can improve his positioning as much as possible, considering the fact that he's absolutely massive in goal, I think that makes the most difference. But, oh my god, that clip <laughs> is going to be too funny, man. The biggest thing that you can obviously see with a goalkeeper like this is, of course, the traits that he has, right? So the traits that he has are definitely going to be very helpful, um, especially in certain situations where the percentage of the strikes is probably going to be like around like a 60 or 70, but he'll still be able to uh, do a good job. So let's play some really aggressive tactics against this guy. We're going to do some like crazy tactics against him, like pressure and all that good stuff. Oh, that shot cancel was too dirty, man. <laughs> oh, no. Three defensive AI things? <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Destroyed him on the chip. <laughs> Destroyed him on the chip. Uh, chip shots are really effective to do against a goalie when he's... Uh, just holding Y, right? So first time strikes when a person is pulling out their goalie or first time chip shots when they're still pulling out their goalie. Very, very effective ways to score, right? So That was a good distribution, to be honest. Yeah, those ones I expect him to collect every day. Yeah, typical save. That was a great save, though. Well done. There we go. Just going to put the pressure on the side right here. Just here. Yeah. Like, those are high percentage strikes, right? Like, I don't expect him to save those ones. Nice save, Lennon. Well done. Yep, there you go. Comes for crosses again. Good parry. We can actually go on the counter attack right here, actually. Let's see if we can maybe score. 
There we go, one more pass. Little body feint, uses the manual goalkeeping, we score that opportunity. Alright guys, so final verdict on this London card. So in my opinion, dudes, it's very similar to Courtois. Very, very similar to Courtois. Like, I would say it's maybe slightly better than Courtois because I do like both of the traits, right? The rushes out of goal trait, saves with feet trait, is really nice to have with the two instructions that you are forcing on the card, right? So sweeper keeper with rush out, rushes out of goal and uh, saves with feet for those certain opportunities where the shot is lower is definitely very nice to have because what happens, and you guys can see in some of the opportunities from the 1v1s, is that the way that he spreads out his body to raise his arms and spread out his legs to be able to uh, save... An angle from basically high and from low is going to be really nice, right? So I feel like he is a slightly better version than Courtois. That's what I would say personally. Um, if I were to use him on my team, you know, it would make a lot of sense. I'm going to sell him right now, obviously, because I personally enjoy using Oblock more. Oblock is a goalkeeper that I feel like he feels special, you know, because I use this London card for, I would say, like seven or eight games today. Yeah, seven or eight games today, because maybe you guys will see the highlights for three or four, but I was obviously doing player reviews for different cards, because with the goalies, it's a little bit, you know? Um, and yeah, he just, he he's basically like Retois, like he never really made a bad mistake for me, you know? He never really made a bad mistake for me, especially with those two instructions. Like the goals that he let in were just high percentage strikes, right? So um, yeah, if you guys use a goalie like this, be sure to give him both of those traits, sweeper, keeper, I mean, uh, both of those instructions of sweeper, keeper, and comes for crosses. Um, and I feel like you guys will enjoy him more. He doesn't come for crosses as much as I'd like him to, but he still does it, if that makes sense. If he had the trait, he would do it more often, which would definitely be very helpful for a goalie like him. But um, yeah, he's still pretty cool, man. If you guys want to get him in your team and replace him with Courtois, wouldn't be a bad choice at all. Courtois is a very weird goalie. Like He's a 50-50 one, but Oblak, I feel like, is like a 70-80 a because of the way that goalies work in this game. Like Some people like goalies, some people don't, right? So... It just depends on what your experience is. But with London, I, I didn't feel like he did a bad mistake for me. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.